My name is Linda Hill. I'm a 30-year county resident. Most of my career was spent working in and with the criminal justice system, including being director of the Region P Office of Criminal Justice Planning. Region P was comprised of San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara counties and all of the cities and justice systems therein. With that background, I am proud to stand here publicly as a member of our local chapter of Americans for Safe Access. I've been quiet for too long. ASA is the largest national member-based organization of patients, medical professionals, scientists, and concerned citizens promoting safe and legal access to cannabis for therapeutic use and research. Oh, I don't have it on. I didn't put it on, but I have in my little pouch here a small pen, which was given to me by another great national advocacy organization, Law Enforcement Against Prohibition, or LEAP. Another great organization to support. I began working in the criminal justice system in the early 70s, just a year or so after Richard Nixon declared the war on drugs. However, in my professional work and academic study, I developed a strong understanding that the war on drugs would be costly and unwinnable. The prohibition does not work except to fund the growing justice system complex, especially our prisons, and that marijuana is by far the least dangerous of all the targeted substances, especially compared to the legal substance of alcohol. In the, in the big picture, the prohibition of marijuana has hurt far more people than the use of marijuana ever will. And nowadays, scientific findings regarding the medical benefits of cannabis are increasing rapidly, despite the federal government's foot dragging in recognizing that cannabis does indeed have medicinal value. More and more therapeutic benefits are being demonstrated in clinical studies, not to mention all the anecdotal evidence. At least now we have our state law to allow its use by patients who can be helped by it, and the U.S. Attorney General's directive that the federal government is not to use funds to raid local providers which are compliant with state laws. However, patients here on the Central Coast who have met the requirements to use marijuana legally under state law continue to suffer because of the lack of any dispensary location within at least 100 miles. These include family, friends, and or neighbors of every one of us. People from all walks of life and in all levels of professions. They have had no choice but to explore collectives, which provide home delivery. But because of the heavy hand of the Narcotics Task Force and other law enforcement entities, many are afraid to contact these local providers. Based on law enforcement actions here in Slow County, when I myself started seeing various listings and advertisements of collectives in the New Times, I immediately assumed, guess what, and feared that they were just more stings by the sheriff and the other officers here who have shown, have shown such a vendetta against medical cannabis. I am quite sure I am not the only person who thought the same thing when seeing those ads, yes? Yeah. yes. Right on. That's something we don't hear enough about. People stay in the shadows. This all brings us to this latest escalation. Last month's Narcotics Task Force grades of stormtrooper intensity. Children on the premises being traumatized even before being yanked into Child Protective Services custody. The usual wildly exaggerated dollar value of confiscations. Three and a half million dollars? Give me a break! People who have taken time to add up all the items give an estimate closer to a quarter of a million dollars. 
they found just enough other items to further substantiate their actions. Three grams of cocaine, which reports now say were found only in Tarzana, yeah. not here. Oh, and yeah. weapons, here. guns in a locked safe because the occupant is a self-admitted avid hunter. Right there are. And then, guess who? NTF Commander John says that none of the marijuana they seized was medical. Yeah. Oh, really? As I saw one blogger put it, did he check the lot numbers on the stems? Central Coast patients and their advocates, I say, what do we want? Say 